I'm Racer Magazine's Marshall Pruitt. Let's take a look inside IMSA's fascinating new hybrid GTP cars. The next episode of our GTP 101 tech video series features BMW's M Hybrid V8. BMW's big return to American prototype racing for the first time since 2000 brings a celebration of style to the GTP class. Among its rivals at Acura, Cadillac, and Porsche, BMW has taken the styling freedoms offered in the GTP rules farther than any brand. In the middle of the car, BMW is one of two GTP manufacturers, along with Porsche, to pull from its existing inventory of engines to power its machine. BMW's M Hybrid V8 was created in partnership between BMW Motorsport in Germany and the world-renowned race car chassis constructor Dallara from Italy. Although the GTP class is launching with four auto manufacturers, it's being done with only three chassis suppliers, as BMW and Cadillac both rely on Dallara to provide their cars, and as we'll see, there are a number of common items shared between the M Hybrid V8 and Cadillac's VLMDH. Like every GTP car, BMW's chassis is made from carbon fiber, laid over honeycomb panels, machined alloy bulkheads at the front and back of the tub, and in the middle at the dash in the cockpit. The BMW M Hybrid V8 is absolutely unmistakable, thanks to the massive kidney-shaped design the front of the car. While other GTP cars incorporate a few accents into the race cars that hail from their production cars, BMW has taken the concept to the extreme by turning the nose of the M Hybrid V8 into a loud statement that every BMW fan can see and understand. The same goes for the entire IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship field. When they look in their rearview mirrors, nobody will wonder if they're being chased by a BMW. BMW has added white pinstripe lighting around the leading edge of the kidneys that will make it stand out at night and in the middle of the nose right where it belongs is bmw's famous roundel badge one more item that's unique to the bmw and the cadillac is the use of a removable hood a square hatch that covers the top of the tub it's removed to access the front of the tub to make suspension changes and adjust the long heave spring and damper not only do we see the mesh placed at the leading edge of the BMW's front brake ducts, which is meant to prevent large debris from getting into and blocking the passageways, but we also have the small rectangular openings that are found on every GTP car near its headlights. What purpose do they serve? Cooling. Cooling for an unexpected item. Believe it or not, those paint peeling headlights generate so much heat. Small ducts like these started appearing on prototypes during the LMP1 hybrid era, about eight or nine years ago, when the giant road car drive lighting systems were carried over to the prototypes. And with the tight packaging of everything on an LMP1 car or today's GTP machines, each manufacturer has created little pathways for air to reach the electronics on the back of the headlights to keep their temperatures under control. Moving to the side of the BMW, if we look towards the back, you have the teardrop shaped fairing that is used on every GTP car to smooth the airflow around the width of the rear Michelin tires. And at the leading edge of the fairings, you'll see the same type of mesh we just saw up front, which indicates that ducting to cool the rear brakes is built into this section of the bodywork. Scanning along the side of the M Hybrid V8, there's a lot of commonality between the BMW and its constructor stablemate Cadillac. A squarish, slab-sided design approach has been taken to both models. That design choice has been applied to the front of the side pods and the aero treatment directly behind the front tires. Where we saw the Acura ARX06 in our first GTP Tech video uses an opening low and right behind the tire to vent that fast flowing air coming in from the nose, the BMW fills in most of that space and does its venting in the region at the top of the side pods leading edge. But that isn't the only method BMW and Dallara came up with to extract that high speed air from the front of the car and from the underwing at the bottom of the nose. The M Hybrid V8 pulls air from that region as well, but from farther back from the Acura. And as we see, there's an extended channel that's open. You can actually look through and capture some of the sunlight from the front of the BMW that does the air extraction. And we aren't done with the M Hybrid V8's front to side aero treatments. BMW is the only manufacturer to incorporate a curved vein to the outer edge of the car's floor. 
you can see how the M Hybrid V8 side pods are also wasted inwards, the bottom to create through flow for that fast air coming through the channel and reconnect with the air going around the sides of the car. And with the curved vane, it helps to split the air, send some to the outside and to the inside to feed back into the rear bodywork. Jumping into the BMW's cockpit, first with factory driver Nick Yellowly, whose helmet is yellow, and then the sister car with Fleet Bang. It's a standard look for GTP cars with an array of electronic control modules, ducting for the driver and the tall rectangular housing for the WAE Technologies Energy Storage System, also known as the battery. The thick electrical umbilical cord that every GTP team plugs into their cars when they pit to provide power and download data is also evident, as is the large overhead air intake which feeds the engine bay. Diving into the most fun part of the M Hybrid V8, we have the 4 liter twin turbo V8 motor that powers the car. Limited to the same 670 horsepower peak as the rest of the GTP models, BMW's P66-3 internal combustion engine started life as a motor used for its championship winning DTM cars has been turbocharged specifically for IMSA, where the Acura's tiny twin turbo V6 revs the highest in GTP to 9,500 RPMs, the BMW owns the lowest rev limit at 8,000. Returning to the main air intake, the BMW splits the feeds, the center channel firing air into the turbochargers, and the twin outer channels joining to feed the transmission cooler. You'll also see a wilderness of hoses, wiring, piping, and all manner of ancillary items that combine to serve the engine, the motor generator unit from Bosch, and the seven-speed transmission from X-Track. Take note of the proud exhaust outlets and the Penske dampers, the ones with the green collars, the back of the BMW. I'll do separate features on the M Hybrid V8's engine and suspension in future videos. Returning to the rear of the M Hybrid V8, we see the apertures in the engine cover where the exhaust outlets peek out and the venting behind the transmission cooler that uses the onrushing air coming over and around the engine cover to pull that hot air through and out the back of the car. Here's a look at the underside of the engine cover with a gold heat rejecting film and another look at the openings for the transmission cooler. And we have the dual element rear wing and swan neck mount that hold them in place. And finally, we have the rear bodywork subframe, heavily curved and tapered wheel fairings which envelop the rear wheels, plus the stylish, comparatively open channels behind the rear tires to allow air pressure to escape and reduce aerodynamic drag. The M Hybrid V8 shallow diffuser is the last area we'll look at that stands out where Acura chose to homologate four full length strakes to place within its diffuser to concentrate the air coming beneath the car and make more downforce. BMW and Cadillac as well have done so in a very different direction. Rather than place two strakes on either side of the car beneath the engine and transmission, the M Hybrid V8 and the VLMDH use just one, and rather than have it extend to the trailing edge of the diffuser, it's rather short, terminating approximately halfway through the length of the diffuser. If you're a fan of GTP history, compare what you're seeing here with the low and modest attempt to make underbody downforce, and then look at the rear of BMW's first factory IMSA prototype from 1981, where absolutely massive underwing profiles were used to stick the car to the ground. The BMW M Hybrid V8 is a fascinating car from top to bottom, inside and out. It's the quietest of the four GTP models, but with that nose, with those kidneys, you won't need to hear it in order to know what you're seeing. Thanks again for watching and visit racer.com for more videos and stories about IMSA's exciting new hybrid GTP cars.